Hey guys, it's Robin, the lady biker. How is everyone doing today? All right, guys, I got a confession. It could be a little bit embarrassing, it could be a little shameful. <laughs> what am I saying? Let's be real. <laughs> We all have burnout sometimes, where regardless of what industry we're in, burnout's gonna happen. And you know what, as a motovlogger, I've recently gone through that. So I thought I would come on and share a few tips with y'all of kind of how I coped through it and how I'm getting back on track. Come on, let's go for a ride. Well, all right, guys, I am riding out here near Mandarin Weir, and it looks like they are doing some controlled burns. We've had a lot of smoke in Perth the last few days. I'm starting to see why. So, back on topic. <laughs> all right, guys, burnout happens. We've all faced it, whether we are a content creator on a social platform, whether we are in a job where, you know, fitness industry, engineer, nurse, teacher, it doesn't matter. At some point, we're all going to face burnout. We just are. And recently, not only did I find that as a content creator here on YouTube, but I also kind of ran into it in my job as a fitness instructor and personal trainer. And <laughs> Burnout in two areas, double whammy. But part of that was the move and a lot of other factors going on. So I really kind of learned a lot of things about myself and some things that helped me not only get through it, a few mistakes I wish I'd missed. And, oh gosh, just how I'm getting back on track and getting back in the swing of things. So. Smoky, smoky, smoky. We got some smoke up here. So anyway, in the last year, if you're new to my channel, you may not be completely aware of this, but in the last year, I've had a second bout with cancer or scare with it. I've moved from California to Perth, Australia, um, shipped the bikes, you know, just all that kind of stuff. It's been a kind of a crazy year. And in the middle of it all, Oh my goodness. You know, I'm trying to continue to be a content creator here on YouTube. And one of the things that I'm wishing, I kind of knew beforehand, but I'm wishing that I had done a better job of preparing for it was preparing for all the change in the downtime that was to come. Oh my goodness. I am so wishing that I thought I knew it was coming. I didn't have a clue. But if I'm to face it again, one of the things I would do, the first thing I would do is I would plan ahead of time uh, to be, to have downtime. So in my fitness job, it was, you know, letting or uh, resigning from the gyms I was working at in California and planning to take time. It was going to be at least a year before I got back into the swing of things. I just knew I was going to need it. But I'm wishing I'd understood how hard it was going to be during that transition to maintain as a content creator. And I'm wishing I'd have planned better before. Everything from, I'm wishing I'd have done a video first before I had, you know, we even started the whole process on exactly what was going on, exactly what, what was happening, or maybe just shared even videos through the whole process a little bit better than what I did. Because it was a challenge to stay consistent on a platform because consistency is critical whenever you're on social media and I wish I had a few more videos you know backlogged I didn't um, you know all these kinds of things so if possible prepare ahead of time backlog videos prepare a video to let people know that you are going to be inconsistent for a while just get out there um, you know, if it's made, if it's even a leave of absence, you know, make sure that you're communicating what's going on, why it's going to happen, all that kind of stuff. Just be ahead of the game. Number two, 
know that there is going to be downtime and you're going to have to slow things down. So, I love it when I see other riders on the road. Know that it's going to slow down. So, like, taking a leave of absence for me. I knew I was going to need to do that. Um, I knew I was going to have to slow down my upload schedule for my videos, and I did. I went from two a week to one a week. Looking back, I kind of wish there were times I would have even gone to just one every other week. Doing those kinds of things are okay to allow yourself to stay. What So what you're putting out is good quality. It's not like, oh my gosh, I'm coming up on a time and I got to put something up on YouTube. That's one of the worst things you can do. It's better to have better quality even if it's at a slower schedule. And people are going to appreciate that. People in work are going to appreciate that whenever they are kept in the loop and they know that when they do get something from you, it's gonna be quality work. But even more so, people here on YouTube and various things are gonna be more appreciative of quality video content. So it's okay to slow things down. Number three. Oh, now I know where I am. Okay, number three. Cut yourself some slack. Seriously, it is going to be tough some days. It just is. And if you've already set, you know, slowed down your schedule, you've already taken your leave of absence, and you realize it's still not enough, that is okay. Cut yourself some slack. If you need to extend your leave of absence or your time off, whatever it may be, ask for it. You may or may not get it, but you know, at least be vocal about what you need. Um, oh, goodness. You know what, guys? If you get in and you're a content creator and you just you can't you just don't have it in you to post for a day or two or a week or a month, that is okay. Take the time to do what you need to do to take care of you. That is so important. Number three, you're trying to get back in, or I'm sorry, number four, you're trying to get back into the swing of everything, and you got nothing. You just got nothing. You have, you know, you've sat and you've tried to brainstorm, you've got to be creative, you've got to get back into the swing of everything, and you just simply have no inspiration, none whatsoever. <laughs> it's going to happen. So reach out to others in your industry, whether it be another fitness professional, another teacher, another engineer, another content creator. Reach out for not only inspiration, but also for help in just getting things going, getting the juices going. Sometimes you can get inspiration from something they've done. Um, maybe they'll kind of just direct you in a direction or even just in the conversation. All of a sudden you go, ding, <laughs> I have an idea. You know, reach out to others in your industry. They are a wealth of a resource. But especially in this motovlogger community, the motovlogger community is second to none. It is one of the best communities I have ever been a part of. Just amazing people. So you tap into that resource, tap into your friends, have conversations. I promise it'll help. And as we are getting back into something, number five, <laughs> your skills are going to be rusty. Just saying. Oh my gosh, this is like the 10th true mode of vlogging video I've done since being back. And guys, I'd forgotten how hard it was to pay attention to where I'm going, the traffic around me, stay on topic, and remember not to do this with my helmet. <laughs> I know, right? I mean, skills are rusty. You know, it's, it's going to take the first few times. It's going to take more preparation and more practice. 
it's going to take you longer to complete a task at first. It just is. But guys, there is nothing wrong with any of that. There is absolutely nothing wrong. Take the time, and I promise, because once you do come back, in some ways you're going to be better than you were before because you've had to kind of take that step back. You're going to learn new things. You're going to discover new things. You're going to research new things. You're going to be better than before. So invest the time to get to sharpen your skills again, to refresh them. Well, guys, I have ended up behind, I don't know, produce possibly, some kind of little truck. It is given all it can up these steep inclines, and it's just, it's struggling. It's really struggling. Anyway, guys, I am coming into, ooh, I know where I am now. How cool is that? Ooh, there's a car up there I want to show y'all. So anyway, with that being said, guys, I hope everyone, oh, 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 let me get through traffic. <laughs> okay, before I go on, check out this car. Isn't that cool? <laughs> All right, guys, so, you know, if you have gone through burnout and you've had to go through something like similar to what I have, regardless of the industry you're in, how did you get back in the swing of things? How did you find that thing that helped you get back on to everything? Oh, my goodness. I am going to have to stop here. <sighs> okay. What did you do to get back into the swing of everything? What did you do to help you get back on the steel horse, <laughs> as it were? Um, I know it took me a little bit to kind of figure it out. So, guys, I've got to figure out one where I am. I know where I am. I just don't know how to get where I want to go from where I am. So what I've just got to tell y'all with, if you can, get out and ride. When you do, have fun. Be safe. And I'm going to catch you on the next video. Bye, guys.